Welcome back, Portage High School students. It's been a long time since March 13th, and we are glad you are coming back. Upon returning, we will all experience a wide range of emotions as we adjust and reacquaint ourselves with being together, being around so many people, and being back in school. Through all of the emotions, excited, anxious, worried, thrilled, overwhelmed, may our reunion be a celebration of us getting to this point and safely being back together. We missed you. We really, really missed you. Welcome back and welcome home. During this video, we will be reviewing important re-entry procedures and expectations, introducing other re-entry protocols, and highlighting handbook topics. Students will be able to get breakfast on a daily basis. We will be using a grab-and-go style for breakfast this year. Students will pick up breakfast from carts placed throughout the building. After students receive their breakfast, they will report to their Mod 1 class and eat in their classroom. If you arrive at school after 7.30 a.m., report to the C doors for signing in and heading to class. Even if your class is on the west side of the school, all late arrivals need to check in at door C. Also, if you need to leave early for any reason during the school day, parents will notify the office and leaving school grounds will also be through door C. Special departure protocols will be in place for any students who have to leave early due to illness. For each class during the day, you will have an assigned seat. It is extremely important that you sit in that assigned seat every day for every class. Making this right choice helps us stay healthy and gives us the best chance to conduct contact tracing in the event anyone tests positive for COVID-19 at any time. When you return to school, you will notice our hallways are one directional and labeled accordingly. As you walk throughout the day, please follow the arrows, walk in the direction indicated by the arrows, and socially distance yourself from friends and classmates as best as possible. Your right choice during these times is the healthy choice. The only exceptions to following traffic patterns in the hallways would be when you get permission to use the restroom during any class period, along with drills and emergencies like fire, severe storm, or lockdown. There are a few hallways throughout the school that do have two-way traffic. Like our hallways, our stairwells will also be one directional when you return to school. When you need to travel upstairs or downstairs to and from certain classes, please use the appropriate stairs and go in the direction indicated by the signs and socially distance yourself from friends and classmates as best as possible. Again, your right choice during these times is the healthy choice. If you need to see your guidance counselor for any reason, you can message your counselor in Schoology, email your counselor, or scan the QR code that you see on this screen, which is located outside of the guidance offices, and complete an electronic pass. Upon receiving your request, your guidance counselor will get back to you and set up a time and way to meet. When visiting the office, clinic, bookstore, and certain other locations throughout the school, you will see floor labels like the one on this slide and like the ones you've seen all over Portage these past several months. As you wait for your turn in any and all of these locations, please respect our staff and your peers by standing on the socially distanced floor labels. Until further notice, outside of essential needs such as medicine, no drop-offs will be allowed from parents. So students, remember to bring your lunch, have all of your assignments, your iPad, your charger, your instrument, your backpack, and your PE outfit. Limiting visits to school throughout the day greatly increases the overall safety and wellness of you, your classmates, your friends, our teachers, support staff, and the entire PHS family. Students eligible to drive to school can purchase your parking pass at the bookstore during lunch hours only for $5. Student drivers will need to hang their parking pass from their rear view mirror and be visible at all times on school grounds. Student drivers, remember, you can park in any of the spots numbered 1 through 450. If you park in a space outside of those 450 options, you will be subject to a ticket or loss of driving privileges. This school year, the school clinics have moved around. 
each clinic has been designated for specific issues. Clinic A is located in the Fieldhouse Concession Stand, which is room D14. This clinic is for any complaint or issue that is not related to illness, such as Band-Aids, ice, injuries, daily medication, asthma and diabetes care, etc. Clinic B is located in the East Clinic next to the attendance office. This clinic is for anyone experiencing any symptoms of illness, such as, but not limited to, congestion, sore throat, cough, sudden headaches, nausea, and body aches. If you are unsure where to go, ask your teacher. Parents, please screen your child in the morning for any signs of illness before they leave home. If they are not feeling well and you decide to keep them home, please report them off to the attendance office with a list of their symptoms. COVID-19 has made it difficult to differentiate between normal illness and COVID-19 symptoms. If you are uncertain about your child's symptoms, please reach out to their health care provider for guidance. When you return to school, you will notice that our cafeterias are rearranged to accommodate for social distancing, yet still allow for you to have lunch with friends, classmates, and peers. The commons area is now an extended part of the South Cafeteria, and the only time students can sit and spend time together in the commons area is during lunch times. Each table is clearly marked with a sit here label and a QR code. Each table will also have plexiglass dividers to keep you healthy and safe as possible during lunch times. During lunch, instead of going to the lunch line, all students will take a seat in one of the cafeterias or main gym and west gym if necessary. If you brought lunch to school, you will be able to begin eating right away. For those planning to eat a school served lunch, our administrators will dismiss students by tables to go through one of the lunch lines, get your lunch, and then return to your seat and table to enjoy your lunch with your friends and peers at your table. Upon finishing your lunch, brought or school provided, you can remain seated at your table. Our custodial team and administrators will be moving throughout all cafeterias and gyms if necessary to collect your trash. If at any point you need to use the restroom during lunch or have any other reason for needing to get up from your seat and leave the table you are sitting at, you will need to get the attention of an administrator. As you arrive at school, throughout the time you are at school, and when leaving school, masks are worn. Masks will be worn unless eating or when given an opportunity by your teachers to take a mask break during some physical activities in your PE and gym classes. When you are done eating breakfast and lunch, mask up. When you are walking the halls, mask up. When you are in class, mask up. When you return to PHS in quarter two, we will be creating and issuing student IDs for all PHS students. Once you have your student ID, you will wear it and carry it with you every day and everywhere you go from arrival to dismissal. We will be taking pictures for sophomore, junior, and senior student IDs this week. We will be issuing your student IDs in the weeks to come. Making the right choices keeps your classmates safe, keeps our school safe, and keeps you out of trouble. As we live through this pandemic, we need everyone to do their part. Wear a mask covering your nose and mouth at all times, except when eating or given a mask break in class. Walk the right direction in our hallways and stairwells and honor our new breakfast and lunch procedures. No teacher and no administrator wants to make an issue of any of this with you. We don't want to call you out in, on this in the hallway, in class, in the cafeteria, or in front of your friends and peers. We don't. We will administer consequences for violations to these new procedures and expectations when you and any PHS student chooses to do the opposite of these expectations and procedures. So please do your part. Honor these new procedures and expectations and make the good and right choices. We want to enjoy our time together with you and your classmates and truly don't want to make a big deal about any of these new procedures and expectations. Thank you for doing your part. We believe in each of you and we are counting on you helping keep our students, staff, and school safe and healthy. These are the specific consequences for failure to make the right and healthy choices while getting on and riding the bus to and from school.
These are the specific consequences for failure to make the right and healthy choices regarding wearing masks. This slide highlights consequences for mask violations after a staff member asks them to mask up. The first set of consequences is when a student complies to a staff request to mask up. The second set of consequences is when students do not mask up after a staff member asks them to. This slide highlights consequences for mask violations when students refuse to mask up even after an administrator asks them to. Here are the specific consequences for failure to maintain appropriate social distancing when masked and able. And here are the specific consequences for failure to walk the correct hallway and or stairwell direction. Students are able to arrive and enter our school starting at 7.05 a.m., no earlier. Starting with quarter two and our re-entry on Tuesday, October 20th, there will only be two places for morning drop-off. Again, only two places. All bus riders will be dropped off at door K. All car riders will be dropped off at door Q. All walkers will enter through door Q. All student drivers will park in any of the parking spots numbered 1 through 450 and walk into door Q. You will not have an assigned spot, but have 450 options to choose from. 1 through 450. If you choose to park in spots other than these 450, you will face consequences that include a ticket and the loss of privilege of driving to school. Doors K and Q will be the only doors unlocked in the morning. All other doors will be locked. Car riders, please make sure to share this new drop-off location and information with your family and anyone who might drop you off for school on any given morning starting Tuesday, October 20th and moving forward. At the end of the school day, car riders being picked up will only be able to get picked up at doors B and C. This means that even if you have a 10th mod class on the west side of our school, you will need to follow the hallway traffic pattern and make your way to the east side of our school and exit through door B or C. Parents, family members, and friends will not be allowed to park outside of the west side of our school and wait for you to come out of any of those doors. Again, car rider pickup area is outside of doors B and C only at the end of each school day. Car riders, please share this information with anyone who might be picking you up throughout the school year. Please let them know they can wait for you on the inside road outside doors B and C. Bus riders, you can continue to use the following doors at dismissal, I, J, K, L, and M. Those who, walked, who walk to school and those who drive to school will be able to leave through door Q, the same door you enter in the morning when coming to school. On Tuesday, October 20th, we will start school in our homerooms and follow the schedule you see on the slide. During homeroom, we will be reviewing re-entry procedures and expectations, distributing schedules, and highlighting handbook topics. On Wednesday, October 22nd, and moving forward, we will follow the same bell schedule as last year. On this slide, you will see the schedule for all classes and lunches starting tomorrow. Starting Tuesday, three minutes before the end of each class, your teachers will instruct you to get up from your desks and move to the perimeter of your classroom. While you stand along the perimeter of the room, your teachers will be disinfecting desks, tables, and lab space that will sanitize these workspaces for the next class of students. Please cooperate at the end of each class, stand on the perimeter, and make the right choices during these three minutes and allow your teachers the time to concentrate on sanitizing the classroom. 
Your cooperation helps your classmates have a disinfected, sanitized workspace every mod, every day.